Hey guys, it's Grimwolf from the Gamers Pro Tutorial. I'm going to show you how to use Studio One, the music software, obviously. So the first thing you want to do is create a new song right here, or a project, if it's a project for you, and enter in the name. So here I'll put testing sound. Yeah, sample rate, resolution, time, all that. You should obviously understand what it is, and here is where you save it, you know, obviously. So choose all that. And then you will come to this page right here. You will see there is edit and mix right here. What edit does is it allows you to edit a certain track. For example, let's get a track here. All right. See that? Then here you can edit it. Now, if you want to edit it, you can obviously, you know, pick that and it'll go here. And it's pretty much the same thing on both of them. You're pretty much changing them both. Now, <laughs> you go here to the cut tool, and you can just cut it, and then, again, erase one, and the other. To undo it, obviously, control Z, and then control Z again, and control Z again, it's all done. Control Z is uh, undo, in case you had, didn't know that. Now, when you want to make a song, obviously, you know, just take them and drag them. But there are multiple different ways to do it. You know, you can move this right here, all that. You have the time base, so you can do it seconds, samples, frames, and bars. Bars, you know, one, two, three, four, instead of seconds. <coughs> Here, you can select multiple areas, and I'm guessing you can. No, you can't. Here, you can select multiple areas. Sorry. And, um, mute tool. Obviously, you know, you can mute that. and also make it solo which means that only this one right here will play we don't want that and then mute you know mute that one and then record allows you to record your voice <clears throat> so for example we will go here add track voice over and then we will record see and, and now, now we, we are recording, recording our voice, voice. You hear that you, you should be, be able, able to hear that right, right now, now. Um, so that's pretty much it well, for the beginning anyway. Then, what else can I show you? Mix. Alright. So, we have this song right here. And then you will add Angry Therapy. There we go. We'll have that. You put it all together. It will do that. You can change the sound of that. Just, you know, make it sound better. Obviously, you know, you're not going to want to have those two together because they don't really sound right but it's still a good idea you know to know how it works and test things out so before you actually start re making an actual song you will want to just you know go here and try to put you know random things together and <clears throat> I mean even if they don't sound right you just want to test it out make sure you know how to do it now here you might be wondering well which one of these you know is that and that well, underneath the auto right here, you will have ARP02, so the harp. Here you will have anger therapy rhythm. It will say so right there, and you can even change the color, for example, red, and then it will change to red, it will change that one to blue. <coughs> now it's pretty obvious, right? Red and blue. Here, we want to change the guitar, all right, the sound of the guitar. So we will go here into the plugins. Now, um, by the way, if you guys do not know how to use a plugin, you can just go to um, the options right here, and then you want to go to locations, and then VST plugins. In VST plugins, you can then add, and then you just find the file, and you double click the file. I am using Nomad Factory plugins right here. Let's see, time uh, 32 bit because this is a 32 bit program, and um, it won't work when you put it in. You have to restart your entire program, otherwise it won't work. You know, obviously, because it has to load them up. Anyway, uh, you go here to inserts right here, and then you do plus. You know, the little plus sign right there. And then you pick, you know, what you want. I will pick magnetic, which is, you know, reel-to-reel -reel audio tape warmer. Obviously, it says it right there. And I will then change it to, let's see, uh, to vintage. Let's do that. I will then solo this just to you know show you guys. See, it mutes it right there. 
So, do that up. Let's do this. That way, it's easier for me to show you. Like that. Then right here, you have the loop. So you just click right here, or you know, numpad seven. Like if it'll do it. If you go over them, it'll also tell you know the <coughs> shortcuts to it right here. So numpad, numpad zero, numpad seven, blah blah blah. Now let's do that, and it will loop. So then you can you, know, you just pick the ones that you want right here. Let's see uh, dash. See the different right there? Yeah, big difference. <laughs> or you know you can also do it yourself. I'm just you know randomly playing with it. Also change these off like that, and that pretty much is how you use a plugin in um, Studio One. Now, after that, you just have to turn that off. See, and if you want to turn it off, you just click right here at the button, and it turns it off. And that is more or less, you know, the basics of how to use it. So you just go to Files, find it, drag it in here. Uh, go here and you double click here, you know, anywhere on here. Well, not on here, obviously, but here. That, this, by the way, just means that you have this one clicked on. It doesn't mean anything. <clears throat> you go on plus, do that. So I, I think I pretty much just showed you everything uh, that's basic for now. Uh, pre pretty much it for now. Yeah, it should be it. All right. So uh, next time I will show you guys how to make a simple, you know, song, cutting up the the songs, putting them together in an order, and uh, all that. All right. This has been a uh, Grim Wolf tutorial on uh, Studio One. Thanks. I hope to see you again. Bye.